Happy June 24th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 quest calendar, The Leaf Riders of Renwood. When last we played, Ivy and the party descended into... I'm not sure where. We're somewhere in the swamp near Mudbrook. We stuck a giant key in a giant rock and turned it several times, and a platform appeared and lowered beneath us. We saw a door with strange runes, and then we were attacked by a pair of agitated crabs, who we dispatched rather expediently. And that is where we left things, so let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. You step into the dim and moist dungeon beneath the swamp, where the cool air carries the scent of mildew and staleness. <laughs> Begin at the X. Uh, it's over there on the left. And navigate around the map. Visit each numbered area along your path. Explore and resolve each area you visit before you choose your next. Looks like we're headed towards five. Uh, that'll take us off the page. So let's do one, two, three, four, five. There's a couple of chests in these rooms. Okay. Here we go. Area one. The floor and wall are blanketed with moss and algae. The smooth stone and the damp growth will prove treacherous and cumbersome. Roll d20 plus wisdom. Oh, I have highlighted here. Eric pointed out in the comments. Um, I have this ability, solar infusion, that I'm going to forget about. <laughs> um, when we use an item that requires a die roll, gain a plus one to the result so basically any any item any consumable is going to give us um d4 plus one rather than d4 i i don't think that would have helped us last i mean yeah it, it wouldn't, we only needed one point last time i used my boon die i think it's okay but i've underlined it and circled it with the hopes of uh remembering it going forward Okay, so here we go. We're doing a d20 plus wisdom. 13. Our wisdom is plus 2. That's 15. That's the best result. With patience, caution, and a mind for a practical approach, you should be able to handle the layer of slick goo that coats everything in the dungeon. Okay. Oh, wow. The, uh, we would have gotten penalties to the rest of the rolls on this page if we didn't. If we didn't do that well that time. So where are we headed? Area 2. Let's see about this chest. The doors in front of you are massive. Made of thick stone and reinforced with metal bands. The lock appears old but intricate. A challenge even for seasoned locksmiths. Uh oh. Roll d20 plus dexterity. Reminder locksmith. We are not a locksmith, but we just hired Kit the Pirate, who is. So let's see what we get here. D20, 17. And our dexterity is 2. That's 19. That's the best result. With a combination of skill, intuition, and a bit of luck, you manage to unlock the door with a satisfying click. As it slowly creaks open, you're greeted by the sight of a small chamber containing a stash of supplies. Among them you find two meal rations, one health potion, and a sapphire key. Excellent. Two meal rations. We're up to five meal rations. Let's see. We can edit this. Five meal rations. Um, what did that say? A health potion. Where's our equipment? Equipment. Health potion is now two. And a sapphire key. I guess we'll just write that down and see what that's about later. Sapphire. Two peas in sapphire. Sapphire key. That's exciting. Okay, what else do we have here? Um, what did I do here? Area 3. The grandeur of the dungeon's design is evident, even in its decay. Large pillars, once the proud supports of this underground kingdom, 
now stand eroded and brittle. Piles of fallen debris scatter the area, making it essential to move some debris to continue. Roll d20 plus strength. Reminder, athlete. We're, we should be good at this. 12. Um, our strength is plus 2. is 14. Athlete is plus 2. That's 16. And that gets us the best result. <clears throat> While moving the pile of debris... To get to a doorway on the other side, you spot a glimmer and a small pouch buried beneath some more rubble on the far side of the room. Suspecting treasure, you spend more time and effort moving the pile around to reach it. Gain three amber. Excellent. That gives us 21 amber. And on to area four. In the center of the room, an intricately designed chest beckons with the promise of treasure untold. Their looks, however, are no mere tr their locks. Sorry, their locks, however, are no mere trifles. Intricate and aged, these mechanisms challenge even the most skilled locksmiths. Okay, we may yet have a need for a kit. This is another dexterity roll. Uh, sixteen. Plus two is 18. Is that an 18? This die. Yeah, I think that's an 18. Um, area four. That's the best result. Your locksmithing expertise, expertise shines through as you swiftly unlock the chest, revealing its treasures. You find a golden shell or a three amber. Up to 24 amber. This has been very lucrative exploration. If I do say so myself. All right, back from area four, back to area three, and then up to area five. The end of this tunnel contains a larger open doorway than the rest of the temple you've been exploring. Beyond the door, you hear lots of loud clicking noises. Uh-oh. You may stop now or continue to explore before returning here. Okay, well, we've, we've explored everywhere. I think so. That, my friends, is June 24th. So we shall say goodbye for now and visit Ivy and friends again tomorrow. I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching.